and time to put your hair up and square up. Oh, you don't have any hair. This is it, guys. The submission match we've been waiting for. The thing about this match is I can't envision these competitors ever giving up. It's just not in their DNA. Ronda Rousey, this is all but over. This is all but over. Takes her off her feet with a tackle. Oh, no! Perfectly executed. Going for the arm. She's taking on some heat, but you certainly cannot count her out yet. I know she's incredibly confident in her submission skills, and rightfully so, but if she can't get back on the offensive here, it's going to be a long night for her. I don't know about you guys, but I did not expect to see her in so much trouble here tonight. And the head scissors are fine. Oh, oh, man, that's just nasty. impact now that's how you make a statement she drops her hard the world got to see ronda rousey make her in-ring debut at wrestlemania 34 but that wasn't the first time she was in a wwe ring that would be when she confronted Triple H and Stephanie McMahon at WrestleMania 31. Oh, and she lands the axe handle. Incredible! This has to be it. Byron brought us back to Ronda Rousey's appearance at WrestleMania 31. That night, after Triple H gloated about his win over Sting and Stephanie claimed all the WWE success that night, The Rock and Ronda Rousey confronted them to argue otherwise. And they were wrong, Cole. The Rock was not scheduled to perform at WrestleMania, and Rousey was a fan at ringside. Security should have ejected both of those hooligans for invading Triple H and Stephanie's ring. Ronda Rousey is, of course, one of the most famous athletes in the world. More so, she's one of the most famous stars in the world. And she got that way by beating people up and taking their arm. I think she's trying to prove a point here. And Sonya Deville says, not this time. Look at that, she escapes. Talk about coming up clutch, guys. When she gets in attack mode, look out. Adding to what Michael said about Ronda being a huge star, when she entered the WWE, that bright light and media attention that follows her really brought a spotlight to the women's evolution and its superstars. Yeah, you'll get a lot of publicity, a lot of notoriety from stepping into Ronda's spotlight, but touching fists, that's different. It's always fun to go to the zoo until you fall into the lion's den. Rousey, case in point. It's rare that a competitor can steal the show in their very first match. Ronda Rousey's done playing. Well, if that's any indication, she's not taking any prisoners in this one. That's it. That's what she needed. Look at this. She lets her out. She better have a good reason for this, Cole, because she just had her seconds away from tapping, I think. Michael, you mentioned Ronda Rousey's WrestleMania debut, and she was somehow the standout star in that show-stealing match. That's no small feat when you consider her partner was Kurt Angle, and their opponents were Triple H and Stephanie McMahon. Yeah, Triple H. Ronda Rousey's done playing. Ronda Rousey, this is all but over. This one's over, guys. Ronda, oh no, she's in a bad way now. 
That should do it. Can that beat Sonya Deville? For some reason, she lets it go. Did you ever stop to think that she might have something else planned here? Ronda Rousey's done playing. Got it. Game, set, match. This one is over. So damaging. This one is over. Can that beat Sonya Deville? They tapped out. It's all over. Here is your winner, the baddest woman on the planet, Rowdy Ronda Rousey. A very decisive victory here tonight. You know, nothing made me happier than when I had to lock in Lucky 13 and make my opponents tap out. And that'll do it. Competitors are squaring off, looking to outmatch each other. It's going to be a tall task for one of these two. Returning to the Ronda Rousey Nia Jax rivalry, you have to wonder if Nia thought that Rousey stole her thunder at WrestleMania. Jax became Raw Women's Champion after a two year journey, yet Rousey was the talk of the division after her mixed tag match. Jax definitely came at Rousey with a bit of unexpected anger and rage heading into that match. Still, Rousey remained composed and was mere seconds from becoming Raw Women's Champion until Alexa Bliss cashed in her Money in the Bank contract. Ooh, this is all but over. Oh, 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 oh what a leg drop. Oh, makes my stomach hurt. Victory is on the horizon. Now, can Nia Jax make the most of this? Looks like she wants to beat her inside the ring. From what we've seen and heard tonight, there must be serious injuries. Nia Jax, the irresistible forces in action here. As her name implies, she's a tough competitor to overcome. Any ideas of how an opponent can prepare for Nia? I'd say it's nearly impossible to take down Nia, but the few times Jax has lost has been due to competition with serious submission skills. We've seen arm bars and sleeper holds make the few dents in Nia's otherwise impressive records. Going back to the discussion of submission holds succeeding against Nia Jax, Bailey used a sleeper hold to retain the NXT Women's Championship, and Asuka locked in an arm bar for two whole minutes to beat Nia on Raw. And then there's Ronda Rousey, who skillfully used her variety of submissions against the irresistible force. Yeah, but we're talking about Ronda Rousey, Bailey, and Asuka here. Three of the most skilled competitors in WWE history. Getting close enough to Nia to even clinch in a submission is a tall feat, since Jax will likely destroy you the moment you're within arm's reach. I'll tell you, watching Extreme Rules matches make me happy. My in-ring days are behind me. You talk about a treacherous environment to compete in. Warm up the buses. This one's over. She goes for the cover. Ronda Rousey kicks out of the pin early. I knew she could do it. Ronda Rousey got out of there in time. This is a treacherous match indeed, as Corey was saying. I can't even tell you how many times we've seen Extreme Rules matches result in broken bones, stitches, and even trips to a medical facility. Yeah, but despite all those inherent dangers, these superstars still willingly sign up for Extreme Rules matches. That's what amazes me the most. You can see the confidence just beaming from her right now. Looks like she wants to win early. Oh, how resilient was that? She's still in this one. They call Nia Jax the irresistible force, and 
she's proven that moniker true as she's overpowered the competition in NXT and WWE. Yeah, and didn't Cole in both NXT and WWE. She'd tear through up and coming competitors in just a minute or two. She also turned in some dumb. We've got a cover. You can't teach the type of tenacity we're witnessing here. Unreal. With all the damage done, you have to wonder how much more it'll take. The two of you were discussing Nia Jax being irresistible and Ronda Rousey. This is all but over. She goes for the quick pin. Now oh, she's got a tremendous amount of resilience, so I think she's got some something left here. She just will not go away. No reverses it. No, she gets out of it. But she's still struggling, Cole. The end might just be near for her. It matches. Ronda Rousey's done playing. Ronda Rousey, this is all but over. Game, set, match, this. That's it. It's over. It's over. Wow, she's fought her way all the way back here. Regarding Corey's point about superstars having what it takes to get extreme, I would argue that every superstar in the locker room possesses a mean streak. Yeah, but not all mean streaks are created equal, Michael. But I'd say there's only a select few who can turn their mean streaks all the way up to the most extreme level. Ronda Rousey got out of there in time. Look at her go. Without a doubt, this is a volatile situation, guys. WWE superstars are dangerous without weapons. Then you put them in an environment like this, and who knows what you're liable to see. Ronda Rousey's done playing. Ronda Rousey, this is all but over. Here's the early cover from Ronda Rousey. I wouldn't have been surprised if that was it. Wow. Right now, I just don't know what it's going to take. Hard to argue Michael's point on volatility and the volatility of this match. But Ronda Rousey's done playing. I'll be shocked if that's not it. That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match. Ronda Rousey, this is all but over. That should do it. Look at this. She lets her out. She better have a good reason for this. She's clearly not getting paid by the hour. And that does it. Ronda Rousey captures the win. Here is your winner, the baddest woman on the planet, Rowdy Ronda Rousey. And there's your winner. Wow, I can't believe the amount of punishment that had to be inflicted in order for those shoulders to stay down.
What more can Alexa Bliss say about Ronda Rousey that just wouldn't make Alexa a bigger target than she already is? Alexa's already called Ronda an overhyped rookie and a sport. I'll stop you right there, Cole. You just can't understand the mind games Alexa plays. She's the best at getting her opponent angry and using that anger against them. That's the same strategy I expect to see employed tonight. Corey, you did have a point on how Alexa Bliss can get under her opponent's skin, and we all know how emotional Ronda Rousey can be. The mind games might be a great strategy. If Bliss can use Ronda's emotions to her advantage, there will be no more talk about the baddest woman on the planet. All the talk will be about the goddess. This is some great offense by Alexa Bliss. Alexa Bliss looking stymied. Well, you can bet there's still plenty of gas left in her tank. Pump the brakes a bit, Cole. I know exactly what you're thinking, and I can tell you with all certainty, she still has plenty of gas left in the tank. You want to know when Alexa Bliss began her transformation into the goddess? It was at NXT TakeOver Unstoppable when she laid out Carmella to help Blake and Murphy retain their tag team championship. Corey, the next few months featured Bliss, Blake, and Murphy working together to further their careers in their respective divisions. Bliss traded the support of the WWE Universe for short-term help at ringside. As much as it pains me to say it, it may have been a good move. Blake and Murphy held those titles for a while, and Bliss's new edge has brought her a lot of success. The WWE Mixed Match Challenge made for some strange teams. But perhaps the weirdest duo in the entire tournament was Alexa Bliss and the monster among men, Braun Strowman. Yeah, the WWE Universe gave Bliss and Braun the name Team Little Big. And the numbers don't lie. Braun is almost Ronda Rousey's done playing. She's not playing any games tonight. Everyone better watch out. Even me. No doubt about that one. Saxton even more impressive than Bliss and Braun's size differences. Their teamwork. They beat the two. Ronda Rousey's done playing. Neckbreaker. She's got a chance to win it here. Let's take a quick look at that again. That could be it, Michael. It's no secret, guys, that the last man standing match tests a superstar like no other contest. Nowhere else do the rules dictate you must decimate your opponent so much that they cannot answer the count of ten. Ow, that hurt. That's how you make an impact. is going to continue. Man, let the ref do his job. Ronda Rousey got out of there in time. Two, three, four. The last man standing match is one of the most physically demanding matches in all of WWE. to punch. Uh-oh. Here we go. Two. Three. Four. 
Raw has been the site of some of the biggest matches on sports entertainment history, and this match is sure not to disappoint. This match ain't over yet. Offense like this is exactly how a competitor takes control of a match. She's starting to put moves together. Watch out! Ronda Rousey's done playing. The human body can only absorb so much of that. Man, she knows how to make a comeback. Things just went from bad to worse for Alexa Bliss. I'm told her photo galleries are responsible for a good portion of WWE's.com's Huge traffic numbers last month. She got her good there. I've talked to several people who think she's bitten off more than she can chew here. I can't say that I agree. I'm told her photo galleries are responsible for a good portion of WWE's.com's huge traffic numbers last month. I've talked to several people who think she's bitten off more than she can chew here. I can't say that I agree. Great women's action here in WWE. And the beat goes on. No reason for that. Ronda Rousey's done playing. Takes her out with a neck breaker. This one is over. take a moment to thank all of you for tuning in to one of the greatest women's matchups I've ever seen. I'm told her photo galleries are responsible for a good portion of WWE's.com's huge traffic numbers last month. Not over yet. Alexa Bliss gets out of the way quickly. And she turns it around on her. Alexa Bliss gets out of the way quickly. Look out. There she goes. This is some great offense by Alexa Bliss. This is some great offense by Alexa Bliss. She comes up big with a reversal. This is the last man standing match, and the physical punishment has begun to take its toll. Look at the look in her eyes. She's in the zone now. And the beat goes on. I don't want to know what that feels like.
I've talked to several people who think she's bitten off more than she can chew here. I can't say that I agree. Come on. Let the ref do his job. I'm told her photo galleries are responsible for a good portion of WWE's.com's huge traffic numbers last month. Not over yet. Nobody comes back from this. Looking defenseless right now. She's got to get back in the ring, Michael. That'll have you worrying about long-term injuries for sure. The ref wasn't finished. Two, three, now that's the type of move that sends a message to an opponent. Oh man, she's rolling now. Ronda Rousey's done playing. You have to possess a different type of focus to punish an opponent like this. Bliss is out of it, guys. Things just went from bad to worse for Alexa Bliss. You're watching Raw, the longest running weekly episodic television program in history. And she makes her way back in. And that does it. Ronda Rousey captures the win. Here is your winner, the baddest woman on the planet, Rowdy Ronda Rousey. Without even breaking a sweat, this one is over. I got a feeling we're going to be talking about her for a long time. You can feel the electricity running through this arena. This oh. is going to be some battle. One-on-one, -on -one, mano a mano. When I looked at the card for tonight, this one definitely stood out as one you don't want to miss. Suplex. Look at this. She's so dangerous. Asuka continued to build her legacy when she laid claim to being the first ever winner of a women's Royal Rumble match, a night that encompassed the trail many women before her blazed. Executed perfectly. <laughs> Reflecting on that Royal Rumble match, Michael, Asuka entered 25th and had to battle old rivals and some of the greatest women's champions of all time. In the end, she prevailed to punch her ticket to WrestleMania. Yeah, Asuka was always my pick. I predicted it since the match was announced. There was never any doubt. No one was ready for us. That's why you're the best ever, Corey. That'll have 
be worrying about long-term injuries for sure. Since day one of arriving in WWE, Ronda Rousey has always said she wants to earn what she gets. Rousey is driven to have the respect of those that she respects. Yeah, and Ronda has all the money she ever needed and all the time she ever wanted to spend it. But she chose to pursue this career as a WWE superstar to show that she is more than just a fighter. Nice move. Speaking about Ronda earning her keep, Byron alluded to how Ronda isn't here for a quick cash grab. She's here to be the best. That said, some of our female superstars are a little embarrassed at the attention and opportunities Ronda's had. Well, major opportunities came quickly for Ronda, true, but remember, she was challenged into them. She came into WWE with a humble attitude to rise up the ranks, but she just found herself at the top faster than expected. Nicely done. I think she's trying to prove a point here. Whether it's in a ring, an octagon, or on the big screen, Ronda Rousey has truly embodied her nickname, the baddest woman on the planet. And that's a title she puts on the line every time she fights. You gotta believe this one's over. Asuka is looking beaten down, guys. This is not at all where she wants to be right now. I would never question her toughness, but at this point, I just don't see how she can win this match. Oh. She's simply taking too much offense. Byron touched on Ronda Rousey's nickname as the baddest woman on the planet. Her Olympic, MMA, and WWE careers certainly support the name that the public gave her, but it does put a huge target on her back. Yeah, but Rousey welcomes any challenge, Cole. 15 consecutive MMA victories, all by submission or knockout, all but one concluding in the first round. It's Ronda Rousey's done playing. The human body can only absorb so much of that. That's it. That's what she needed. Ronda Rousey's done playing. Message delivered. Asuka needs a miracle. Oh, no. I don't. This is a level of destruction no one was expecting. Wow, she's fought her way all the way back here. Asuka's just getting overwhelmed. That landed perfectly. And that one does the job. It definitely dropped her, but I'm not so sure it's over yet. It's got to be over now. Oh, man. I don't want to know what that feels like. If you want to talk strategy against Asuka, you have to recognize her lethal and sudden offense. Yeah, if you're looking to neutralize that, you have to know about Asuka's hybrid style. She's mastered so many different elements of the game. That's how you make an impact. She makes it look easy. Byron alluded to Asuka's options through her hybrid style, but her competition's options are often limited to tap or nap. Oh, my last nap, I had dreams about walking down a beach with Asuka. And then I realized I was actually running in terror. What's going to happen here? Just a brutal move. While the four horsewomen can make claims to revolutionizing the women's division, Asuka can show irrefutable evidence to dominating it. Her reputation echoes to the women's division. If the four horsewomen were the revolution, Asuka is the evolution. Ronda Rousey's done playing. Ronda Rousey, this is all but over. I bet you feel foolish riding her off now. Mike, we're talking about the women's evolution. We see Asuka as a woman who has pushed every competitor who has become the benchmark of dominance. I think it says a lot for Asuka and the women's evolution. Ronda Rousey's done playing. Ronda Rousey, this is all but over. Asuka needs a miracle. Message delivered. That should do it. Asuka's just getting overwhelmed. Look at this. She lets her out. 
She better have a good reason for this, Cole, because she just had her seconds away from tapping, I think. There is no taller order in WWE than attempting to defeat the baddest woman on the planet. Byron, how can any woman gain a victory over Ronda Rousey? Well, obviously, training is the utmost importance as Ronda approaches every fight with a lot of preparation. But here's the thing. Ronda has been training her whole life. How do you overcome that? We talked about strategy going into a match with Ronda Rousey. Byron says it's almost impossible. Corey, would you agree? Yeah, the only strategy I'd employ is depending on luck. Rousey's MMA losses came when she was surprised by a miracle strike, so any competitor has to hope they hit that lucky shot, too. You know, despite Ronda's rigorous training at the Performance Center and continuous improvement in the ring, there was a time when Ronda Rousey felt she couldn't call herself a WWE superstar yet, like she didn't earn it, Byron. Well, her outlook changed quickly at SummerSlam, though, Michael. I think becoming Raw Women's Champion certainly earns Ronda the right to call herself a WWE superstar now. Look at this. She's so dangerous. You fellas bringing up Ronda Rousey's first Women's Championship win reminded me of all the naysayers that have doubted her. Let me tell you, the worst bet to make is to doubt Ronda Rousey. Well, Corey, those that said she can't only dared her to be great. That so-called overhyped and overrated rookie was fueled to become the Raw Women's Champion in only the third match of her career. Corey, you followed Asuka's career. What does her opponent have to be careful of in this match tonight? Well, it sounds almost impossible, but you can't be intimidated by Asuka. She can be absolutely mesmerizing in the ring. You can ask any woman on the roster. I mean, Asuka carries this aura of invincibility. It's a mind game as much as it is physical. You're like a poet, Corey. Talking about Asuka's intimidating aura, Corey. Her reputation precedes her, but if you study and stay focused, you may shock the world. Yeah, for sure, Michael. You have to psych yourself into believing you are fighting only Asuka in this one match. You're not fighting a record-setting streak. Take the match one move at a time. It's all academic from here. It's got to be over now. like this is exactly how a competitor takes control of a match. You can see the confidence just beaming from her right now. Jeez. She's back in full control now. Nobody can sustain a drop like that, Michael. Look at this, Byron. She better do something fast. And that does it. Ronda Rousey captures the win. Here is your winner, the baddest woman on the planet, Rowdy Ronda Rousey. A well-earned victory indeed. No shame in tapping out to that move. Wow, that looked incredibly painful. Boy, I don't think we're going to have too many...
cage action kicking off here, guys. For generations, the steel cage match has been considered one of the most ruthless matches of all time. Head scissors applied. And, oh, look at this. The steel cage is a massive enclosure that stands 15 feet in height. For almost 35 years, a select group of high flyers have taken their aerial assaults to greater heights. And when I say that, her shoulders on the back. And she kicks out with relative ease. Not even close. She is on fire. To your point earlier, Byron, we've definitely seen some unbelievable attacks be launched from the top of the steel cage. And you mentioned the most iconic, the steel cage match for the Intercontinental Championship that saw Jimmy Superfly Snuka clash against bitter rival, the magnificent Morocco. There's no denying that Superfly set the bar. You look over the years to people like Jeff and Matt Hardy, Eddie Guerrero, Ronda Rousey's done playing. Oh, oh, what a Samoan drop! It's heating up now. Sometimes you'll see a smile on Ronda Rousey's face, but that changes once she goes into combat mode, Corey. <laughs> Call the cops when Ronda's on the loose. She'll tell you she's not a wrestler or a fighter. Ronda's a martial artist. Her judo training means she puts out maximum efficiency with minimum effort. There's a philosophy, purpose, and direction in everything she does. Byron, Corey described Ronda's judo philosophy with her extensive combat background. How does her past translate to competition in WWE? Well, Rousey is learning that her skills can make her a dominant force in WWE, but she still has to remember that there are moves she's never felt in an octagon and rules that make those moves perfectly legal as well. Ah! Uh, she's starting to get on a roll! There's a certain feeling that comes over the combatants in the steel cage match once they hear the door close and see the official lock it. A superstar must know that their body is going to be thrown against the steel, that their face will most likely be raked across the cage, and that anything is legal in this environment. Looks to be focusing on the arm now. Got it. Oh, and she gets floored by that one. Yeah, there's no staying on your feet after something like that. You spoke about this earlier, Corey. It's crucial for a WWE superstar to fully understand the gravity of the situation they're in when they battle inside a 15-foot high steel cage. An individual must be ready to endure pure brutality and be prepared for the fight of their life. No one leaves a steel cage match without scars. Corey, you said something of value for once and that any... Ronda Rousey's done playing. When she gets in attack mode, look out. So damaging. That has got to be. She goes for the cover. Whether it's in a ring, an octagon, or on the big screen, Ronda Rousey has truly embodied her nickname, the baddest woman on the planet. And that's a title she puts on the line every time she fights. Shoulder tackle does the job. Ronda Rousey's done playing. Ronda Rousey, this is all but over. But is it enough to put Stephanie... Ronda Rousey, this is all but over. That's it. That's what she needed. The night could be over for Stephanie McMahon. Byron touched on Ronda Rousey's... Here's the early cover from Ronda Rousey. There's the pinfall and the victory. Here is your winner, the baddest woman on the planet. Rowdy, Ronda Rousey! The shoulders are down for three, and this one's in the books. When you get a